Hi guys, welcome back to another Project 90 build. And in the last video, we removed the rear doors, the side panels, the roof, to turn this into eventually a soft top defender. In today's video, I'm gonna be fitting a seatbelt bar. When you remove the side panels, you don't have anywhere to mount the seatbelts to, so I can't actually take this for a drive. But in today's video, we're gonna fit a seatbelt bar from the guys at Exmoor Trim, so that we can finally take Project 90 for a spin and see what it's like driving without a roof. So I can't wait to do that at the end of the video. Let's get into it. Right, so here we have the seatbelt bar from Exmoor Trim. We'll unpack this, see what's in the kit. It's like past the parcel list. That looks like a bag of bolts and instructions. Now we get the rest of the bar out. There's one side piece. And there's the second piece. Time to read the instructions, then we can get bolting this up. Right, so in the kit we should have everything we need to fit this up. We've got the two sections of the sidebar. We've got some instructions, then we've got all of the fixing. So first step is to fix the bar so it's one single piece. So we can just, I think, remove these screws, slot it together and then tighten it back up. With the bar tightened up, I had to remove the old seat belts from the old brackets that used to mount it to the side panels. Just had to flip the cap off, undo the bolt, and then the seat belts were ready to mount to the new bar. Next up, it was time to bring the bar over to offer it up and see where I'd need to fix the holes. At this point, I realized there was still loads of sealant left over on the body tub from where the side panels used to fit. So I had to try and remove as much of that as possible, even though it's a really tricky job and eventually I'm gonna replace these cappings anyway. After a load more scrubbing, it was time to bring the bar back over and it fitted up much better now the sealant was removed. One thing I did do was wrap tape around the arms of the bar so that when I was trying to fit it up and shimmying it into place, the bar wasn't getting scratched on any of the rest of the bodywork. The first part of the install was really easy. It was just putting a bolt through the arm of the bar through to an existing hole in the body. This would give me a good reference point for where I'd need to drill the rest of the holes in the tops of the cappings. I did these up pretty loosely to start with because I knew there'd be a lot of wiggle room as it's not gonna mount up perfectly first time. So that's the back section all nipped up. Now I need to drill the holes in the capping to be able to mount the top section. Um, I just need to run the seat belts through as well and then they'll mount into this bracket and then we're basically done. Really quick and easy install uh, to ensure that we can go for a safe spin in the new project. Loosely resting the bar in place, I could drill the holes knowing they'd be in a perfect position. And then I could drop the bolts through the body and nip this up gently so that it's in a good spot to go and drill the other side's holes.
So that's the bar all fitted up. It bolts obviously through the top capping and through the side. It feels really strong. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm now going to just mount up the uh, seat belt itself to this bracket. I've got the seat belts down here. These will just use the same fixings as before and just bolt through through the frame and then we're basically good to go. All fitted up, took about half an hour and yeah, we're ready to then go for a test drive. So there you have it guys, that is the installment of the seatbelt bar from the guys at Exmoor Trim. As I said, it's a bit of a temporary measure because eventually we're gonna fit a full bar set or a full, full cage. So um, it's a temporary measure to allow us to go and enjoy Project 90 as much as we can before we go and fit those other modifications. So really happy with that install. Check back next week where we're gonna be fitting more modifications to this car, particularly sorting out the rear end and doing some real exciting modifications. So stay tuned for that and also be sure to like and subscribe to continue to follow this project journey and I'll see you next week. Thank you.